Hello and welcome to my channel. I've been Giamatar Sikkeverin from the immortal vegan, vegan Giamatar um, the and the mirror of the truth and some other channels. I've been an animal rights activist and I've been uncompromiseful if it comes to the rights of animals. Just like Malcolm X was uncompromiseful when it comes to the rights of blacks. And Rosa Part was uncompromiseful when it comes to the rights for women, etc. I've been one biocentrist, it's the opposite of anthropocentrism, what the most humans do. I look all forms of justice from out the perception of the earth first and then humanity. Because without most animals, plants, etc. we don't will survive. Why should you watch me? Hungarian experiment and how am I different than any other fish YouTubers out there? Greasy food to soak it up, but I didn't want to go in a huge caloric surplus. So today I woke up at about 173.8. I was uh, lighter on the scale the the day of Canada Day, so I'm currently, you know, getting right back on track with things, but today I want to let you guys know something. This is absolutely wild. So lately what I've been doing is that, you know, I love all the interaction I'm getting with you guys in the YouTube comment section there. So what I've been doing, I, I always try to reply, I always read every one of the comments. I just don't always have the time to reply to all of them, and especially some of you guys leave some really big comments that interested. Make sure you guys are following me along on Twitter, that'll be in the description box below there. And wow, today I uh I went through my spam folder and I got a very interesting uh, message from the immortal vegan. Want to know why some of us vegans called you carnist pieces of cancer or parasites? Whoa, whip good from you. <claps> Taking clips of four different kinds of videos from me. What extremely smart! Are you being proud of yourself? <sighs> the Hungarian experiment, or I have to say a retard experiment. Become you so upset because of a, a comment that I have let on your channel, where I explain in very good details why. You're full of shit, just like 99% of all the humans on this planet. How consume that, that dismembered corpses that you so euphemistically call meat there in X. Being so full with patriotism that you don't can face reality, wrong is wrong. No matter how the victim be, no matter if it be a cow that you pay to commodificate, would be another word for slave, in slave. Only for some small little bit of satisfaction of their corpses that you sweeted with sauces and with spices. So that it don't taste any more the way it actually tastes. Don't listen to whatever what this person has to say. Because the Hungarian experiment is full of shit. Please, let me know what you guys think. A big thing that I'm doing here on my YouTube channel is that I am a meat eater. So, I agree that if you want to follow a vegan lifestyle and you can do it in a healthy way that's not depleting your body because you feel, you know, morally obligated to do that, then I'm all for that. I'm 100% for that. But I'm not for people telling you how you should live your life. Telling you what you should be doing. And that's all this guy's Look to the real videos that I've put in the description below and look them for themselves. One of them is one of um, my music videos where I sing about veganism. Try one. 
concentration camps by remurdering them. This had a in rounds, something like two years maximum. Cows being killed around the age of four, chicken being around the age of one, one of you. What's the excuse? What's the excuse for empty? What's the excuse for unknowingness? What victims? One is a response video. So, um, one low carb, moronic girl. Like, uh, that's what we call, that they called herself, Lachis. Then he have taken small parts so that I look as weird as I possible can. Hello subscribers, I'm making another video about Blogaladis, that psychotic, lying, demon. I have also tried to shoot freely. And you don't, oh, I think you know the comments, where's the bullying free, and she have um, locked her, and also she have um, put copyright claims of uh, Vegan Gains channel, and she have put copyright claims of um, Rice Winter and other vegan YouTubers that does a dare to criticize her. It don't matter what you say, your actions, that is what matter. You can be so cute as you want, or so nice or so friendly, but in the end, it means what you do. And what you do is disgust. Put copyright claims on people's videos, only if <laughs> you're not to be not creepy to our feet. And that's what he shows. To you. You have also picked one of my pictures when I was in the fantasy fair in the Netherlands. October 2005. Old fantasy fair in the Netherlands. Arson. I was dressed like a warlord. Of a book that I've been writing. To make me even worse than before. And they've put it in the thumbnail. That slander, that's defamation. This reputation. Be aware that I can actually put you to the courtroom for that. If I want. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody else's glass house. Because you want not to have a fight with me. Because I win. Because I know far more than you. I've been a nerd. That's not something negative. What I mean with that is that I do my research and not so in the round slander and do just because I can, like you. The reason that, that you others start from starvation, and most of you uh, say that you give about that, most of you people in the West, is because you feed around something like 65% of all the greens, all the lentils, all the beans, all the soy. 60 billion land animals in concentration camp scenarios to, to make one similar, to show you why it means and a factory farm is an um, Concentration camp. Um, replace the pigs with Jews, or gypsies, or mentally retarded people, 
human people. And then put back, I'll go then back in time and replace the Jews, the metal retarded people, and the gypsies with pigs, turkeys, and other animals, non human animals. And you will still have taken on all of cost making, making taking place. Changing the victims don't change the situation. That's speciesism. Speciesism is an attitude or bias in favor of somebody else's species. Just like racism is an attitude or bias in favor of somebody else's race. Just like sexism is a Predators or biased in favor of somebody else's gender. Just like all other form of discriminations. Discrimination is evil, honest foundation, or it is not. Uh, I know that most of the people that watch this video. Hate um, people that abuse children. And thereby, I know that uh, you know the difference between right and wrong. So why not despise people that harm animals? It is hypocritical to protect one group and violate the others when no of the parts deserve the abuse. Meat eater, meat dairy and egg eaters asking for vegan respect is pedophiles asking for respect for their violent lifestyle. Like them, la. North America, mainly of borrowing group. Well, you know what I said? Oh, this? Because pigs being murdered around the age of one and a half, when pigs can live for 50 years, 15 years. Big, uh, it's actually around something like uh, one a half year and under a half year. Factory farms put um, animals in small cages and not can live and incarnate to neural scientists by the King with have uh, wrote the Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness. In 2012, animals and humans have the same kind of awareness. You must claim to have. You claim to have. Even you have nothing to show ever in your life and you have any consciousness. Because if you have a conscience, if you have any moral sense, then you don't hold me out context. You don't put words in my mouth. You don't act like one immature, pathetic, dipshit. And you don't pay people to murder animals and to steal food from people in poor countries that starve from starvation. So I have to say before, you don't can be so full with patriotism that you do, that you don't can face reality. Wrong is a wrong, no matter how it say. And actually, watch for some of my videos. I have in many of my videos a lot of links in the description below. I'll be sure that um, Hungarian uh, experiment lunatic. Once that you believe him in his words when he not have ever a little bit of knowledge about nutrition or anything whatsoever. He only used I say he he only use stuff. He sell you uh, 
things that you not need. Any slander. Anybody that's being disagreeing with him. Why are you still so following some douchebag like him? Why? Why should you watch me? Humans don't need animal products to survive, that's obvious. People in poor countries that live uh, in, in um, India. In Indian culture, there are lo a lot of people that have been Hindu and Rastafarian live on completely plant based beings. And I think Patrick Babumi, you want to rip your skin from your face. Because he's far stronger than him. He's the strongest man of Germany. Before you say that all vegans are men weak. <laughs> Low life's comeback. You want to challenge me? To defend your position. I be the defender. I protect innocent animals. I've nothing harmed anybody ever in the whole life. Your position is the reason that there children at any two seconds a child starve from starvation. Your arrogant standpoint is the reason that there on your behalf, with your permission, for you, around something like 8,000 animals being uh, executed around your lifetime. Stop playing youth memory games. If you not been a victim, imagine that not entirely from your point of view. Because if you not been the victim, things look a little different from your angle. You can easily mock your victims. Label them stupid and dirty. Say that li their life don't matter at all. But when You win a victim, think a lot different from that angle. And I understand that. Good. Vegans are moral superior to you. Just like a rape is, is less moral and less superior than, than somebody does not rape. In the eyes of suffering, animals and humans are the same. Peace begins on the dinner table, by what you eat on a daily basis. You don't get pray for peace and compassion, and then do hypocritical violent things. That's not how morality works. That is absolute and arbitrary lie. The majority is not right, because it did been the majority. Believe you that the majority of slave masters were right in the type of slavery? Before the civil rights movement, think you that the majority of cis white male was right? When they say that woman been there to serve the white man, black man, or whichever. Think you that the majority of the heterosexist man when right, when it comes to give um, gays the right to marry somebody of the same gender? No. And that's because the majority is nothing right and it been always small groups of enlightened radicals, free thinking individuals that have to conf have convinced the masses 
why their actions are immoral. All true have the passed to three stages. First, it had been mad and ridiculed. Second, it had been violently opposed. And last, it had been accepted. There's no excuse for our anymore. But sadly, the true don't want passed overnight in the most cases. It can take sometimes hundreds, four hundred, even thousands of years. But I don't understand why we not come just to the table and decide all living beings deserve to earn eager rights, to be not commodified, to be not enslaved, to be not exploited, be not turned in ticks by the most vicious savage that have ever walked on this face of the earth. No, the truth not fine, is it not? But it being still the truth. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the truth become visible. And by the way, since when is some retaliatory comment that I make about somebody worse than the actions of humans? Think so. Just come back.